Okay, so good evening, good morning, wherever you are, good day to you. Thank you for coming to the channel. I wanted to share something really quick, not like my long form videos that I normally do, but this video is really intentionally for bride to be's planning a wedding. But obviously, if you're a vendor watching this, this is really good information and a cool tip for you too. So, there's this new fad going around with unplugged wedding ceremonies. And it's kind of been around for a while. It's uh, to basically tell the guests, like, be present in the moment. No, you know, sell your devices, iPads, and their own cameras bringing to the ceremony and disrupting their paid photographer and uh, getting those in their shots and, like, potentially can block the couple and special moments because someone else from the guests are um, blocking the moment like for example these photos here so I'm a wedding photographer I'm based in New Jersey and I also shoot in New York um, so I always encourage my couples to please have an unplugged ceremony and there could be signage which I also design on Etsy I have a design uh, studio on Etsy that you can purchase digital designs and then print on your own wherever you like at like you know like in, uh, the instant print stores online or at Staples, UPS, FedEx, places like that. But anyway, so you can do an unplugged ceremony sign like boop, 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 and boop. Or, and actually, and this is very cool. This is a super cool tip. I think every couple should take advantage of this, especially if they're doing an unplugged ceremony or not, but this is really, really focused on unplugged ceremonies. And I think this is so, so cool. You guys have to do this. So your officiant, I'm going to say officiant. It could be a priest. It could be uh, a cantor, whatever. Ha bef once, once the bride usually, like, we're using an example here, bride and groom. It could be they, it could be he, it could be another she. But we're going to use bride and groom as this example. So say she's walking down the aisle. He sees her for the first time. He's bawling his eyes out as every woman dreams of. And uh, he, they get to the altar together. Now, before the ceremony even begins, before it begins, I'm going to say officiant here as an example, pauses and says, everyone, please take out your phones. Here you have one minute to capture a portrait of the couple. And the couple are is going to be genuinely so happy because they just saw each other. It's their wedding ceremony. Everyone is looking at them. They're there to celebrate them. They're so excited. Now, the officiant has one minute to allow all the guests to take that photo and then tells everyone, please put your phones away and sit down and be in the moment. That's their shot. It's incredible. I think it's one of the most amazing things that can happen at a ceremony for the guest experience and the couple to get that photo at their ceremony without having any photo bomb moments with the photographer um, with those cell phones being in the way at the shots. So uh, that's the big tip I have for you um, for unplugged ceremonies. And I hope you definitely uh, add that to your officiant's I guess, playbill or whatever you want to call, um, dock it to, like, say, because uh, they usually write down, like, what they're going to say and read off of that in their little booklet up there, uh, and tell them to announce that before the ceremony party begins. All right, guys, so... I know I kind of went off on a rant here, and uh, thank you again for watching this video and uh please subscribe or hit like because then it helps uh me grow my channel and i can afford food wet food for my cats because my cats get uh really picky about their wet food and it's, shit's kind of expensive love you guys all right bye happy wedding planning bye